This one is not on me. This guy has encouraged me to do this. So I guess, thank you guys. All that. Coming up. Warriors around, don't get caught in the mosh pit. Put your fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it. Put your trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it. Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits, my Hi everyone, this is Dyson. My pleasure to be here. And without further ado, let's begin. You see, we have this scene from previous tutorial here. And of course, without the rider. And we have this DOP simulation and with this transition crowd from running to the ragdoll and we have this trigger as you can see and we're gonna use that okay let me show you the first method you see let's suppose we have this character a wolf and of course this is a packed geometry you see that single point we need to unpack that let's use agent unpack to have actual geometry okay and now uh, for, for instance let's have a hair or a fur for this wolf here, you see, let me quickly set up that. And yeah, now let's have a Vellum hair configuration, of course, and the Vellum solver of course ground plane and let's play you see that's okay the hair is not attached to the wolf of course we need a volume constraint attached to geometry let me do it and of course we need to connect this one in there and as you can see that's went okay The main question is here, how we can attach this vellum object, the fur for example, to the crowd. Okay, for that we need of course agent layer. Let me create that and of course let's connect the vellum object, not the vellum solver to this one. Of course we, we have a uh, warning here, we don't have any name attribute, let's enable that in the vellum pack we need to pack this vellum object of course and now we have this warning uh, your shape geometry is time dependent that means our shape geometry that uh, will be the wolf it's animated so that will cause a problem let me do a time shift here and let's delete the channel and let's freeze this uh, geometry you see voila all this warning is gone Okay, as you can see, our layer is not shown on my agent, the wolf here. For that, we need crowd assign layer. This is straightforward. It will assign uh, the layer to the crowd. As you can see, you see, let's select the layer. And of course, let me pick it bigger. We have, I had this issue, the scale issue with the wolf in the previous uh, uh, lesson. And of course, as you can see, we have this layer and now we have this awesome percent select we can uh, randomly assign this layer to the crowd not the whole crowd so and with that of course let's simulate and see what we have in the dock network you see that this is a weird simulation i know but uh, stay tuned we're gonna fix that later on okay now we have this simulation this is okay of course and now we need to simulate this vellum fur so for that we have a handy node here a agent or crowd vellum uh, unpack here let me create this one and of course let's connect that and now let's have a vellum solver of course and as you can see voila he recognized the agent okay now Let's, for example, simulate this fur and blah, 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 vellum stuff. And you see, that's awesome. This is the first method. I guess so far so good. This was a straightforward. If you want external object like clock or cloth in general, fur, hair, etc. to the agent, 
of course you need to go with this method having said that what if i want to do or manipulate the agent in certain area in the crowd simulation for example i want a soft body and for example i want to detach a part of a agent body when he hit a ragdoll state that's interesting in order to do that of course after the crowd simulation we need to lay down an agent unpack we need the actual geometry okay and of course we need the name attribute to, se to separate these agents from each other and of course now we need a for loop for each loop i want to i want to create a group for each uh, agent here as you can see that's cool and uh, now as you can see we have this group and let me delete uh, this part of the agent and you see that okay now let's have a velum tetrahedral uh, for the soft body of course and for the sake of this demonstration i want to go with one agent to show you guys here and you see after that let's have a velum solver ground plane of course and let's hit the play You see, I want this soft body begin after the ragdoll trigger on the crowd. You see that I don't want that in the first frame. And this one, of course, it's different for each agent. How we do that? That's so challenging, of course, and took me a lot to solve. Okay, for that, first we need to attach this soft body to the actual agent. Let's go with agent, sorry, volume constraint attached to geometry. And let's do that. And of course, you see this soft body is attached to our animation, to the uh, crowd simulation. And that's good. Okay, I tried different method, but the first one would be ragdoll stream group. As you may know from the previous lesson, we have this group called ragdoll stream that contain all the agent with the ragdoll state. Okay, for that, let's bring it at the sub level. Let's go to agent unpack node. Let's transfer that group, of course. And you see that? Let's uh, have a color node. Let me show you the group here. And you see? the red one would be the ragdoll state so i went with deleting the agent the attached to geometry agent let me show you here you see that okay with that i simulate with a vellum solver and boom the vellum solver seems to freak out it's not accepting uh, geometry deleting at the simulation after that i decide to break this attached to geometry constraint i enable this option of course and this threshold determine how the breaking happening of course with zero we don't have any constraint and with 100 for example which this number is different in variant situation with 100 of course we have this constraint so i thought to myself let's animate this one and get on with it so guess what I animated that but Vellum not accepting animated constraint parameter so what we're gonna do okay with the breaking threshold I noticed something cool here when I enabled this one the breaking option in the spreadsheet I noticed this breaking threshold attribute you see that and that was interesting and I, I thought to myself let's go to the vellum solver and let's have a sub solver not the regular one that's so important the constraint geometry sub solver and i went there and of course you see we have all this uh, information the geometry the constraint and with that you see we have this uh, breaking threshold attribute i adjust that with the adjust uh, attribute float
and you see and of course I animated that and I wait to simulate and 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 of course it's worked and that's awesome you see that so we have this uh, animated parameter in uh, the sub solver so after that I didn't want this uh, parameter constant for all agent otherwise it's not respect the ragdoll variant state so I wanted a group for this adjusted attribute float. So guess what? I went to the sub solver of course and I created this null and I brought this uh, group with the group transform of course and as you can see this uh, attribute is primitive. We need to promote that group from point to the primitive and of course we need to overwrite that in case we had this attribute before and you see voila it's worked and <laughs> i didn't believe that you see that i love it okay let me show you the final version this is exciting of course this one is available on my patreon ready so for the for each loop i went with the rbd material fracture of course and i turned this the wolf to the pieces and with this tiny explode view i want this gap this is necessary of course for the soft body uh, it will tell him this uh, object is uh, separated of course and with that i guess i select this inner concrete group which created by rbd material fracture and i turn that of course to the vellum fluid for the blood and i merge these two objects soft body and the vellum uh, fluid and i have this result awesome and with that i switched this vellum solver result with the crowd simulation with this uh, group uh, transform I delete that in here and I enable a uh, Vellum Solver after a uh, crowd trigger of course and with that you see this is the result and I guess thank you guys for the suggestion I had this fun and see you in the next one goodbye